Hello and welcome to Audio Talk, where we talk about all things audio. I'm Sonia, this is Kent, yeah. and today we're talking about AV receivers. Nice. Yes. So I want to know from Kent, oh. what is an AV receiver? Oh. Well, it is an amplifier, first of all. I mean, but it has several amplifiers built in. It's not just left and right. Um, an AV receiver is for surround sound, home theater, um, and, and that is specifically home theater. It, they're made for. I mean, this like a, okay. you know, it's it's one of those boxes, you know, with a bunch of buttons on the front, you know, mm -hmm. either forty-two or forty-three centimeters wide. Um, that's and and it it can take in television signal through HDMI. And then, so that you get all the settings of the receiver up on the television as well. So it's really like for home theater, amplif you know, amplifying, make, delivering power for the speakers, you know, driving the speak passive speakers um, uh, for a, a home theater. That's what for, an AV receiver for television. is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so do you need to have an AV receiver? Like, say, um, so you have a television, mm. can you hook up a stereo receiver or do you have to have an AV receiver? Uh-huh. Well, it depends on your ambition, you know. You could hook up a an, a regular a two-channel receiver or amplifier to your television uh, and using, like, for example, an optical output of the TV. Mm -hmm into what's called a DAC, like a, a DAC, mm -hmm. a, you know, which is a digital to analog converter. And then you will have to turn up and down the volume on the receiver, which would be in a nuisance, you know, a little bit. I mean, so it's a pretty complex question because mm -hmm. that, that, you know, that would solve having music, you know, I mean, that you, you, you will have, you know, you will have sound from the TV coming out through the speakers. But you might find that like too uh, low tech and 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 like a cruddy solution for the stereo. Yeah, receiver. just yeah. So that you have to do this, or you have to grab another remote to. Oh, to turn that is up. annoying. Yeah, I mean, so so how much ambition you have in this? You know, okay. you will, you will need different solutions to accommodate it, and the AV receiver through HDMI. Um, would would have full control of all of this, you know, so okay. that they're working together. So it's yeah. so it's gonna make it easier on you later when you go to watch television. Yes. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. But there is ways to 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 make a two-channel amplifier also work with a TV like that uh, through what's called HDMI ARC, which is an audio return channel HDMI. Uh, where the converter that you connect to it, um, or if you have it in a sound bar, some of them come with this kind of type of uh, plug. Mm -hmm. There, they have that connection just from two single plugs like that, you know, through that that that. So so you can control volume up and down um, okay. through the television. So that would be a more cost-effective uh, and, and simple solution, and you still have the volume up and down. Okay. So, yeah. Are there any drawbacks to doing it that way? To getting so you're saying you can do um, a sound bar mm. instead of a, a AV receiver. Yes. Yes. Okay. But yeah. are there any drawbacks? Yeah, I mean to that not is getting the the AV receiver. Uh huh. Yeah, that that would be. I mean, an AV receiver. You have a whole different. Uh, opportunity to make a great big sound you know where mm -hmm. a sound bar is something very compact uh, that's gonna have like um, it might have you know a bunch of bass uh, but because of its physical size it, that kind of bass uh, would be um, some lingering um, uh, <laughs> not precise bass okay. like a muddy bass because okay. There's some physical limitations. Physics, you can't cheat physics. Um, it, it can give you the impression of, of, of a lot of things, uh, you know, mm -hmm. a sound bar. But ultimately, you will have less of a real experience 
from the sound, you know, than, okay. and what you can achieve with an amplifier and set, uh, the passive speakers. Okay, so it sounds like whether you need one, one of these AV receivers yeah. or not depends on on you and what kind of sound quality you want. Yes, yes, okay. absolutely. Nothing has changed, you know. It's like physics. It's it's when you build speakers and you build equipment, it's it's all just like uh, how you choose to, uh, to to put what first, size or quality or you know sound pressure. I mean, the physics are still the same, uh, and not very many things have been figured out uh, since then. Okay. The use has been better, is better, like the digital aspect is better, but the physics of speakers haven't really developed much since the 60s. Oh, okay, yeah. interesting. All yeah. right, so that about wraps it up. I hope you have learned about what an AV receiver is, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.